Now, if you had the power to change anything in government that you wanted to, what would you do? Well, that's a question young boys and girls face in programs called Boy State and Girl State. And Craig, I hear you actually took part in this. Standards were low back then, uh, <laughs> Mr. Roker. Standards, yes, I, I, I participated. Oh, look when at that! I was a, uh, a teenager. Wow, I hadn't seen that picture. In a you while. were hitting I the love mark. It when you see your nerdy picture. This, you look pretty cool there. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, I was a federalist <laughs> back in the day. Uh, so yeah. So now there's this new documentary. It's called Boys State. It follows the story of four young men as they embark on a week long journey of rallying and running for office. Take a look at the riveting speech that one young participant named Renee gave. My grandmother told me a few things. You have to have faith, hope, and a bit of a pissed off attitude. I want to be civil and represent a whole working body. And we're going to take the example of a plain body. It has two wings, a left one and a right one. We're not gonna pick one. We're gonna stay in the middle because we are not an intolerable party. We're one that is palatable to all. Filmmakers Jesse Moss and Amanda McBain, as well as that young man we just heard from there, Rene Otero, they join us now. Uh, good to see all of you on this Monday morning. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Jesse, let me, let me start with you. Why a, a documentary on Texas Boys State? How was this born? Uh oh, did we lose Jesse? I think we did lose Jesse for a second. We'll try to get Jesse and Amanda back up. Renee, I'll, I'll turn to you. Uh, I got a chance to watch the documentary over the weekend. It brought back a lot of fond memories. Um, you, you run for state party chair. That speech we just heard there, you, you say your grandmother taught you to keep faith, hope, and a little bit of an attitude. How was the experience for you there in, in Texas that week? I mean, I guess it's kind of a loaded question. Um, you know, Boy State is definitely a week, um, you know, packed with intensity, you know, low sleep, lots of heat. Um, so I guess the overall experience would be hard um, but rewarding. Al? So, so, well, Renee, in the documentary, you, you had to face a few challenges. At one point, uh, there was a call for an impeachment. Uh, you were the target of racist posts that surfaced online. What was that experience like, and, and what did it teach you? Um, I'm going to say this, that, you know, by nature of my identities, like I deal with petty racism, you know, all the time. And so I guess going into Boy State, I was not surprised by the fact that they used those tactics. I was more surprised by the fact that they were still using these tactics at 17 years old. Um, so that was a little disappointing. But dealing with the impeachment and dealing with the racism, it was really just pretty simple. It was a game of, of, of politicking that I had to do with the background to build deals and build relationships. I didn't like the work that I had to do, um, but I came out, you know, in the end. You were very good at it. You were very, very good at it, Renee. Uh, I know how difficult uh, that, that week can be. Uh, let me come back to you now. I, I, think, I think we've got you, Jesse. Why, why a documentary on Texas Boys Day? Well, thanks, Craig. We didn't go through the program growing up. Uh, and when we learned about Texas Boys State, we read an article in the Washington Post, the boys in Texas had actually voted to secede in 2017. And we, first of all, we're struck that in, in the program, they actually bring together young people with very different politics. And that's a rare space in America today. We love the idea as documentary filmmakers that we could go down and really look at young men with different politics trying to uh, com make compromise and to build a government from the ground up. And Amanda, you guys had to shoot this documentary in just one week, and and you called the thought of doing something like that terrifying. Why was it terrifying? <laughs> Normally, we shoot films over years and years, and we're a crew of two, um, and sometimes even one. So the, the very idea we had to capture everything we needed to make a film in one week, um, that kind of... It, well, it's a major undertaking. It's also a major risk. And so we did everything we could to sort of prepare for that, um, you know, put together an incredible crew and tried to find some of the people who are going to follow through this event. But, you know, nevertheless, the event gets started and it is a it is pandemonium initially. It's sort of a Lord of the Flies anarchic energy in the beginning. So it's a little bit like we're the little 
twin prop plane going through the hurricane. Eventually, order um, uh, happens. Thank you to people like Renee and other uh, good leaders. But you know, it, it, we really had to hold on um, to capture yeah. what we got. You know, it's it's really it's it's difficult to explain what boy state is or girl state is to someone who who hasn't been through it, Renee. But how would how would you describe it? And now that you've done it, do you think you'll ever go into politics? Uh, so, you know, I originally described it as the Stanford prison experiment, except for politics, because, um, you know, power corrupts. But, you know, I think I was a little jaded. I think I describe it now as uh, an experiment in which uh, experiment and litmus in which, you know, young people can decide whether or not that you know, greater political engagement is for them. But me going through the process, I learned that, no, I do not want to be a politician. Actually, I entered the space wanting to be a senator. And that's because with electoral politics, I learned that I'm always having to sacrifice something. And during this time, there's a lot of sacrifice with COVID-19. And as we're confronting white supremacy, especially in my city of Austin, we need much more immediate action. So I cannot afford to wait until the next election. Renee, I tell you, anytime I hear from, from young people like yourselves, I'm reassured. Uh, things may be a little wacky right now, but the future's okay. Good to see you. Congratulations. Thank yeah. you so very much. Jesse, Amanda, Renee, thank you all so much for being here. Boy State now streaming exclusively on Apple TV+.